heard first about the Cheaper Show around four years ago when we had just arrived to Vancouver, I guess. When we got there, people were starting to queue. So we, we were really lucky that we were there at the right time because we realized how big the queue was going to get. Looking back to the original show, it's amazing that this thing started without any level of expectations and now for it to be one of the largest art shows in Western Canada is just amazing. It's always been this sort of underground thing, but the show's too big now, you know, like it's a disservice to the artists in the show to be this underground thing. One of the coolest things is the fact that it is so diverse. People from all around the world, everything in one room, and everyone is excited to be there. I think they identified something quite important, like how do you celebrate creativity, how do you build community around it, and how do you have fun doing all that. Myself and two friends started The Cheaper Show back in 2001. We really couldn't garner enough attention towards ourselves and towards our work within the limited gallery scene in Vancouver. So we kind of created this new program for showcasing art, a one-night experience. You could roll in with 10 of your best friends, grab a beer, and buy possibly your first piece of art. The most significant difference between our show and the way that a standard commercial gallery operates is our price point. Everything at The Cheaper Show is $200. It is a really special thing because it's the thing that makes people come here excited. You know, the first show we hosted about 200 people. I never had any idea that it was gonna get this big. It was never the intent. The eighth edition of the show, there was a huge change that took place. We really took a risk to see whether we could double or even triple the size of the event and see if we could pull 3,000 people up. It's literally been, you know, the interest from the artists and, and the public of Vancouver that's really driven it to the point that it's at now. We're bringing out people that may have never gone to an art show, and it might be their first exposure, the first time they really think about you know, why art might be important to them or why art is important to their community. If you get their presentation, that art can be enjoyable, community-based, you can have a close relationship with the artist, and it can still be quality. I think that's a good spot to be in. Getting a feel of the amount of artists that was in the city per capita was incredible. It was just like the yellow pages of talent, you know? One of the most amazing things about the show this year was when we put out our call to artists. We had over 950 applications from Croatia, Iran, Lithuania, Belgium, Japan, from San Francisco, Arizona. It also put our curatorial team in a really difficult position. It, it was really difficult in narrowing down the artists to be in the show because there was literally a thousand incredible artists, but it, it came down to who was doing the most innovative thing within their field, people who are really, really trying, and we hopefully can help them get there. in Vancouver, I think for me, being from Calgary, it was the most exciting thing ever to come here and see all these young people doing what they like to do. For me, at least being newly introduced to the art community in Vancouver, like over the last four years, you kind of always seem exclusive. What's up, Lawrence? There's a pencil mark here. Mm -hmm. You can see it. You know, some of the artists from the biggest galleries in our city are now showing with our show to support some of these younger emerging artists, and that's that's one of the coolest aspects of this. These are like three thousand for a drawing. Really? Yeah. Let them have that one. Thank you very much. That'll work. Appreciate it. Yeah. The two hundred dollar price point. Um, I think the most I've ever sold a piece for was two hundred dollars. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that, but how do you make? really good quality art accessible without kind of 
without cheapening the art conversation. And, and it's kind of an interesting idea because rather than having the, the entry fee be money, the entry fee is time. Right, if you're willing to line up and be first in line 24 hours ahead of the game, you're going to get that piece that you really want. We're nervous. Well, I don't know. There's, there's 27 people ahead of us. 28. 28. 28. Yeah, they're probably we're going to miss some of the stuff that we're I hope not. people sprint into the room. Then I sat at the sales desk for the first 45 minutes and people were like s sweating and freaking out. And then I think people relaxed and were like, oh yeah, hey, it's cool. Hey, I'm gonna call a friend and everyone's gonna calm down. And like now it's just it's a community event. My great privilege to hereby proclaim Saturday, June 26th, the cheaper show day in the city of Vancouver. Thank you. I feel quite proud of the community that has kind of grown up around the show. That really is the driving factor behind this. Mm -hmm.